So welcome back to the channel. So this is Jonas and I'm into bikes, cars, trucks, anything with wheels, outdoors and DIY. And today we're going to be fixing the bike. So we need to adjust the, tri the chain. So chain maintenance is about um, a thousand, thousand kilometers. So that's, that's your interval. And uh, anything that I will be saying on this video today will be coming from either the manual or Ains manual. So none, well, I will mention to you if it's my own theory or my, my style, if it's my style, and the rest will be by the book. So this is how you adjust your chain by the book. So stay tuned. So let's adjust the chain. So before I adjust the chain, I always drive around and clean the chain. So you can see that I have my cleaning stuff. I've got my, got my mineral spirit. I've got my gear oil. It's A90. And of course my handy dandy multi brush, toothbrush. And yeah, that's it. So I always clean the chain so that um, you loosen up the, the kinks. The tools that you need are your C-spanner, uh, something to measure your slack, uh, your torque wrench. You only need the 17 millimeter. And of course, my style always screwdriver and a hummer. So that's a chain, so it's clean, free of tight, tight joints. So adjusting your chain, uh, you don't need a podox and you don't need it to be ridden with a pillion. So those are the misconceptions in chain adjustment. Um, some would say, no, you sh it, your tire should be on the ground, it has to be on a podox. But um, according to the manual, it has to be on your center stand. And if you say that you will snap the chain because it will tighten when your your suspension flexes, well, it's actually the opposite. I believe so. That your 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 chain actually loosens when you have when your suspension goes in. Um, so. Whatever the value that is given in the manual, they have already considered all the factors, um, suspension, rebound, and everything, and so on and so forth. So again, uh, center stand, not in paddocks, not on your side stand, not with uh, a rider on it. So the first thing you have to do is to loosen this clamp bolt. So this is where you're, you're going to be using your 17. So using a paddock might be right on other bikes. But on the VFR, it is specifically said in the manual, two manuals, Ains and on the manual to use to adjust it on center stand so please I don't want to hear those you need it on a paddock so they are loosened bikes on neutral now find the part where it is most slack So none of the position of the chain will be even because it will never wear out evenly. So there will always be a tight spot 
and a slack spot. So this is your, this is my slackest position. So here is the magic. Now this is not in the manual, but I always just do this when it comes to clamp. As, as one of the VFR members said that I might have some issues with this clamp which I think it does turn your spanner counterclockwise There you go, you see, it's very tight now. So you go to the tightest and then we will loosen it to specification. So specification is um, 25 to 35 millimeter so that's 35 so push it downwards push it lightly do not push it with all your strength because if you push it it's just gonna go so lightly with enough pressure if I may say and then pull it up So let's let's try to get 25 because that's the minimum. Let's push it down and then push it up there. That's 25. And then rotate your tires. that tight spot or your slack spot that's 25 so most of the time it will be the opposite so if you guide here here if this goes to the bottom, this will be your slack spot. Push it down. Push it up. Let's go for 35. 35. Push it down. So make sure to measure it in between the, the midpoint of the front sprocket and the rear sprocket. So that is this this bolt. If you have the VFR, and this will be the center. So push it down, and then push it up. Exactly 35. So this. This is this chain is within specification thirty five. Now, if your chain is not within those specification, don't worry. Um, you don't need to change it if you don't have the funds. The maximum slack, which is still within the specification, is fifty millimeters. So that's that's a lot of slack. So this is now good, so all I need to do now is to tighten it to 54 foot-pounds. So go grab your 
or crunch and then just tighten it. So sometimes if you tighten it, it will change the slack. So just just double check it afterwards. Within 35, find the tightest spot. Make sure this one looks a little bit slack. Push down, up, yes, within. You can measure every if you're anal about it. Let's go for 25. We think this is the tight spot. And up there. Exactly 25. Very nice. And I think we're done. That's how easy you can adjust your chain. So how can you tell if you need to change your chain? Now, first indicator, let me show you that there is a marking in your chain cover they call this a chain cover so this the the end of the tooth should not go past this if it does go past this then you need to replace your chain now you can also assess your chain if it goes side to side then you need to change it for example this chain you see how much play is it has side to side play it shouldn't have that now if you can see the rollers they're gonna be noisy see the play stretch compressed stretch compressed so this will happen as I said, it will happen unevenly. This has a play, and this doesn't have. See, this have doesn't have. So that's why your chain will have a slack area and a tight area. Now, so this is my theory this is not in the manual so according to the manual every time you change your chain you have to change your sprocket front and rear now if you regularly change if you regularly adjust your chain your sprocket will not actually um, deform if you may say um, because too much slack and too tight will actually the ones is a culprit for um, a deformed sprocket. So if you can check out my sprocket, this is the rear, and this is after three chains. So I already did three chains with this, and it's still fine. Even the front, let me see if we can get an angle. Let me get a flash a flashlight. I don't know if you can see it guys, but look how how good my sprocket looks like. So 
So, no deformity at all. The deformity that I am mentioning is, it's, it's, uh, the shape is uneven. It could be, well, it should be pointing because your force is, you're forcing it this way. So it will be pointing more to the rear. So that's a deformity or it's going to be too pointed. So for me, if you just regularly um, loop your chain, adjust the slack correctly and it will lengthen the chain's life and at the same time your sprocket's life. So hope you got something from this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace. So just a reminder, when storing your torque wrench, unload. Make sure this is loose.